Get some, Sarah. What's wrong? Nothing. I, I just I have to get back to work. Oh, you probably just made her feel like she should have done that. Been looking all over for you. Get off! The fuck! Get the fuck out of her! Get off the thing! What the fuck? Freaks! Bye! Tony? Oh no. I need to get my friend to a hospital. Friend? Yeah, and there's more wounded on Lover's Lane, some some kind of attack. What were you doing with this girl on Lover's Lane, boy? There are kids back there that could really use your help, and she needs medical attention right now. Put your hands on the car and spread them. <laughs> Seems you had good reason to be concerned for Mr. Jackson's safety. Yeah, sucks being right all the time. I believe these lacerations were made by talons. It's Tommy. Tommy Fuller, one of the missing teenagers. He's like a bird. He's like a bird monster. It seems Mr. Fuller has come into contact with a meteorite with mutagenic properties. Try again. Apparently, Miss Siva's boyfriend has been exposed to the same type of meteor that Kendra came into contact with me well you but why Carter, did it why are they four thousand years ago the... we can take him down the arm and dagger where did you it's after his house all right we need to proceed on two fronts locate jefferson and make an all-out assault on savage but i don't need your protection there's no reason to go alone That's we're true. part of a team for a reason yes and the team seems comfortable with me doing this so that makes it about you and me no. How do you know that the two, like, you just kind of, like, assume? Hello? Did the worst police brutality mean anything to you? You think this is brutal? You'll be begging for me after he gets through with you. That's enough, Sheriff. Thank you. Well, I'll take racist over crazy any day. Oh, it would hard to describe what I'm doing here. I mean, all day the same. <laughs> Will this change this time as well? What a pleasant surprise. Is it a surprise? Or fate? We didn't get to finish our discussion the other night. Jefferson and I, as you know, share a psychic connection, but for some inexplicable reason, I can't seem to reach him. I've grown so accustomed to our connection work? To suddenly be without him Just is disquieting. Sex. I know the Did feeling. You feel it? Did you lose something? <laughs> I'm almost wondering how long you could play out this little charade. Oh, if you wouldn't but realize that, that your powers had emerged. Guess those missing kids are no longer missing. I set out to build an army. Why is he taking so long to kill her? Pity they didn't so they can see you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Jax, don't make me do this. Interesting, because that's able to help me devise a gene therapy that will hopefully restore Jefferson and those at the asylum to their former selves. They're fucking weird teeth. The 
thank you for rescuing me. Well, you rescued me first, so now we're even. I don't belong here, and neither do you. Promise me you'll get out of this town, the both of you. It's a great big world out there, <laughs> Betty. And it's changing fast. I mean, she made out with Jack. Maybe we'll like, catch up down the road. Earlier somewhere. on in the episode, so it's like. Did she really care about a boyfriend? Or... You had the chance to kill me, and you didn't. After last night, I know enough about being a monster to know that you're not one. Stop. I'm getting misty-eyed. I just want you to know about what happened with Rory. I get it. <laughs> what on earth? Gideon? No, is this terrorism? Yeah. This yeah! Captain. Come on, let's do this! We merge on the wave rider could destroy the entire ship! Um, I do not pay attention to what Kronos is doing! Uh... What are they doing? Hey! Where did they go? Uh... Better question. Why did they leave us? Alrighty, -er. well that was Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 8. Uh, oh my god, that's a bit awkward, them being left behind. Like, they would know that they were getting attacked. Like, for all they know, they wanted to ditch them this whole time and they wanted to do it here. And like, oh god, the anxiety that I would feel. <laughs> um, I really like Sarah's story in this episode. Um, you know, helping a, a, a woman in the 50s, uh, like, kind of deal with her sexuality. I liked it. I didn't think it was too over the top or anything like that, so it was it was it was nice. Um, I also liked the way that they dealt with the racism in this episode. It was really well done. I feel um, obviously racism is stupid, and like who cares what color you are? Like I don't care. All right, but like I appreciate the fact that they. Um, they portrayed it very well here. Um, probably, it, it was most likely way worse back then, but at least they kind of portrayed it. Whereas a lot of shows kind of just ignore that it happened. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I like that. I also really like Snart. When it's Snart, he's good. I like him. I think Sarah and him are like my favourites so far. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one, which I'm just going to double check. Um, yeah, there'll be one episode next week for Legends of Tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. Uh-oh.